Hello and welcome to the Late Model. It's my second race here in the Late Models. Very excited. Uh, I did not own Hickory last week, so I had to skip that one. Uh, I mean, I guess I could have bought it, but uh, always trying to be frugal and uh, choosy about what I'm buying. And there was uh, some other stuff I could run, so I just went ahead and gave the week off to the Late Model, and here we are. So uh, this is interesting because so far the only the only race I've done in the late model was Oxford Plains, which is not your typical track. So this is my first like quote unquote like normal typical track in the late model. So that's uh, something interesting. One Missed left. my mark a little bit there. Um, I don't have the top speed. Up the top guys. It's not quite there yet. But I'm giving it my all. Just barely outside of the twos there, it looks like. Not too far off of what I've been running anyway. And uh, this lap was slower. So. I'll take that though. Or unfortunately, the number two, which is going to be hard to reach, being someone brand new to these cars. Only the second time I've ever hopped into one, so... I mean, you know, practicing and then racing for the Oxford Plains race, and then practicing for this uh, this whole event. It's very limited uh, limited seat time in this one. But I uh, have stock car experience, so it's not something that's completely foreign to me. Uh, only six people so far? Is that correct? Alright, six people qualified so far. Sure wouldn't mind being uh, starting third. I imagine you probably want to be on the inside, but that's just a guess. I won't have too many like... Oh, I... Last time we were here, you wanted to be here, so blah blah blah. Yeah, I'm not really, uh... <laughs> not really gonna be able to provide much of that. So... How am I running this lap time? I wasn't even thinking. I just hit an all-time best, and I wasn't even thinking. Why didn't I do do that during qualifying? <laughs> How did I do that? I wasn't even paying attention. All right. Well, that was weird. That would have put me uh, at a third at least. Huh. Weird. Like I was literally not even really thinking. I was just talking about what I was talking about. But that's P4, and everybody. Went ahead and did their lap and stuff. Or hit the button, so that's cool. That was really quick. I think they did that last time, too. Got some cool people here in the late models. I know how to get things going. <laughs> Alright, so we're P4, so we did get knocked out of, uh... You're on the outside, knocked out of the inside, but right now, maybe but... it won't matter too much. Maybe it'll be nice the first couple of laps not to uh, have to contend with the looseness. Or maybe less looseness on the, uh on the inside, so. I got my brake bias at 51.3. Um, kind of practiced a lot with it all the way down at 50%. But uh, I thought about maybe having to hit the brakes for someone suddenly and I didn't want to spin it. And uh, I'm not gonna come in here and get in over my head too much. Since uh, I'm still new. There's still potentially some situations some things that this car could do that I'm not ready for that I have to react to, so don't want to be doing anything too crazy. Thirty-five. Just going to try to be smooth in this race. And, uh, hit my marks, try not to slide it around all too much. Try to get it to, Follow car number you know, in the outside lane. through the corner without hurting the tires too much and all that. We'll see how it goes, though. Second gear start, maybe. Not sure if tire temp's a thing in this car. But I'll get them unsqueaky, at least. Kind of what my real pedals sound like, squeaking all the time. I'm 
know if that does anything or not for real, but I know some cars warming up the brakes, heating up the brakes or whatever. Makes a difference. Don't know if it does for these. So we got a Dale Earnhardt scheme, P1, fast slap. We'll be watching watching them for the jump. And uh, no cautions in this series, so let's hope that we don't get caught up in anything or anything of that sort. So I'm kind of glad we're uh, in the front half of the field. Don't want to get stuck behind anyone. I'm a little nervous, but I'm ready. Ready to go. Okay, Pretty good start. Car inside. Still inside. Clear inside. All right, so we can file in here. Keeping it smooth for now. We already got a pass for the lead going. Don't run in the back of him. He's a little bit slower through there. Probably just saved the tires better than I am. Not sure how big of a deal it is in these cars, but I imagine it's not nothing. And to let that throttle. Seems like it gets more loose out of turn one than it does out of turn four. Or turn two. Out of turn one. You know what I mean. So that's an interesting observation I've uh, had. Almost got a second behind us already. That's cool. See if we can maintain that or not, but I like having the breathing room. It's never a good feeling. Feeling someone's warm breath down your neck. Ugh. None of that, please. Maybe overdrove that a little bit, and but that down, we're fine. So, uh, pole sitter lost the lead pretty early on. Now they might be wanting to scratch and claw their way back. We'll see if they're able to get the nose on them or, you know, into them. See if that ever comes to pass. I'm content here. I don't feel like I'm being held up too much. We're just pretty equal on speed, I think. I am kind of creeping up on this four. feeling a little bit held up. Still not too bad though. And I'm obviously not going to do anything about it. Just going to try to get the nose like a normal person. Take a look, Colton. Car outside. Clear I appreciate that, man. Oh, all right. No problem. Don't want to hold you up. You now in third. Lap time was twenty-three. Don't figure I don't want to talk while on the while driving right now. I'll lose my focus. But <laughs> he's still figuring these cars out. I'm still figuring these cars out. That's funny. So uh, I guess he felt like he was holding us back enough, let us on by. Just done Might have been worried I was going to be the type to stuff my front end into into this car. Did not have any intentions of doing that. She was kind. Just uh, gave us the spot. It's cool. So now, I guess we'll see if we can uh, 
catch up to these fellas up here. I might put my brake bias back. Since we got room, might as well. Alright. Might be getting tighter. P3. And we might have to let him on by again. down a little bit too soon there. Messed up my run off. Huh. The lap time was at 23.5. Kind of get into a good rhythm. And I gotta know which song to play too, because <laughs> gotta figure out what that rhythm is. It doesn't do you do good if you're hitting your marks, but it's the wrong mark. You know what I mean? Should be uh, good for a top five, though, at least, if we keep things clean. Good. Oh, we got a pass going on. That last lap was at twenty three point six. Williamson is now in the lead. Oh, uh, they're fighting. I wonder if that's going to bring them back to us. Okay, Colton. The next car is Williamson. Maybe we'll fall back, too. I'm not quite sure if I'm doing this right. The next car is the leader. Side by side for a good two laps there, maybe. I think they're still side by side. Just trying to stay consistent. As long as I'm not getting too much red on that delta bar, I'm feeling just fine. The next car's the leader. There, I messed it up just a little bit. A little bit of red's normal as the tires slowly wear away, but I want to avoid any more than that. That's pretty good. Another pass attempt, it looks like. The next car's the leader. Four right on us again. You've just done a 23.6. Appreciate him letting us buy, but I'm not sure I'm so willing to just give it to him. If he gets a nose on me, then I'll back out. But, uh, not going to make it any easier than that. don't think that would be necessary. Good consistency. Maybe Keep that makes coming. me rude, I don't know, but it is a race, you know. It's not like I'm crazy off-pace compared to he is. I didn't think he even needed to let me buy, to be honest. Six is in the wall from the lead. On the straightaway, no less. That lap was at twenty-three point six. It's kind of a weird corner. It pitched a little bit more than it has been.
Hmm. It's not quite up to the speed yeah, of these top that. guys. Doing okay though. Could be much worse. Got a little tight there. That hurts. To lift a, a little extra, just briefly, but it was enough to uh, make me feel uncomfortable. And I uh, lost a little bit more of that lap than I would like. The gap in front is now 0.9. I was worried, buying this car, that the races were going to be wreck fests and uh, guys were going to be diving in all the time because it's a short track series. So far, people have been very polite and the racing has been very good. I have limited sample size here. We've been very pleased. Very happy with the purchase so far. It's been some good racing. Keep my death, uh, my uh, wheel from coming off my desk. Maybe we can finish third. It's creaking again. Wonder how I'm doing on tires. It could be I'm uh, just straight up not fast enough, and only keeping up because my tires are good. It could be my tires are in bad shape because I've been overdriving the whole time. And I'm going to get past here soon. Not sure. I don't have enough experience with this car to know, like, oh man, I've treated the tires poorly. I don't have that level of familiarity yet. These two wreck each other, though. We are... We are in P1 of capitalizing from that. <laughs> you got five left to go. Only a few more to go. My hands are just starting to hurt, too, so... Uh, good timing. If that's uh, number seven back there starts fighting the guy behind, make me feel better. Right now it's me running from this uh, number four. That's got me uh, nervous. Good race though so far. Some good short track racing. That's what this is all about. Get better, get more familiar, get more comfortable with short track racing. Two more. Got on my wheel. <laughs> Two to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. Ooh, pitched it kind of extra much there. Careful not to make a dumb mistake this late in the race. What flag did not? Open the door up. Oh, God. All right, Colton. One more to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. That was a uh, 23.7. All right. Good win, Carl. Good win and good race, guys. Alright, then pick a flag. Nice run. Solid work. Alright. 
our spot here. P3. All right. Podium. Where did I get my last? I think I got second in my, uh, my first ever race. And uh, that's another top three performance. All right. I don't think I showed off my, uh, my new paint scheme. Before I had the Jimmy John's one that was just kind of uh, temporary. But I found a fun little Goodwill one. <laughs> And uh, I think the number fits pretty well with there. So nothing too spectacular, just trading point paints, but uh, that's what I got for that. All right. So let's go ahead and see the incidents, if there even were any. I think we saw some slow cars early on. Why is that always such at a weird angle? Like, isn't that so much better? I think All right, 14 is going to get into the wall. Thirteen, again on exit there. We're already on lap nine. Now we're on lap 11. It's 14 again. Just uh, not getting it to stick how he wants. Ooh. First car contact, and it was only because of prediction. That was a pretty bad one. You can fit a whole mouse cursor between that. <laughs> but, uh... Too bad. Nine dove it pretty, pretty hard. But you know he was trying to get the uh, edge. Six and touched the wall. I remember that. He's lucky he didn't get stuck up there too much harder. He might not win this race. That was it, huh? Wow. That's, that's pretty awesome. That's very clean. Very clean race. That six is about to lose connection. That would have stunk if they uh, <laughs> they lost connection right before they won. But uh, P3, we moved up one spot because uh, the four was kind to us early on. Uh, maybe was worried that I was going to run them over. I don't know. Maybe I'm uh, so inexperienced in this I was going to. Let's see how close we were. I know we were right on his bumper, but uh, I wasn't going to do anything crazy until I was sure I was there. So I was just kind of hounding him. Felt like I was being held up just a tiny bit, but nothing that was too alarming. And then he says, take it. So I said, okay. If you insist. And I just did my best not to uh, lose my line there. We got it done. He was able to uh, file back in and not lose any more spots. So. Worked out. Our tires, by the way, were... 88 86 that's surprising okay i definitely expected the right front to be more worn than the right rear wow huh well i guess that's pretty good then all right so that was late models at richmond i hope you enjoyed i did i've been really liking this series and uh Hopefully I'll be able to do it again next week. Not sure where they're going next. I haven't checked yet. It's uh, good stuff. I had fun. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.